<laughs> okay. Um, so I'm doing post commentary on this just because I have to pay attention to a lot of stuff while doing um, this run. Um, so um, I don't want to be distracted. I want to give decent commentary and also so that I can have a guest, uh, my brother Death Clutch. Hi. I believe that's your internet persona, right? That'd be correct. Okay. Um, he, me and him grew up with this. Uh, it's, you know, a lot of people say it. As much as Final Fantasy VII isn't my favorite RPG ever made, it's it's definitely the influence that got me into RPGs in general because I never really got into the Super Nintendo, regular Nintendo RPGs because I was a stupid little kid and I like shooting stuff, boom, boom. So, um, so I did this. Now, I do have certain rules. I know I'm talking over the intro, but anybody who's watching 100% Run has seen this intro a million times. Um, the rules are, is I'm going to, they're self-imposed. Um, three of every armor, one of every item, one of every weapon, all the limit breaks, all the characters, all the Matera to master level, not level 99. Uh, all the enemy skills, am I forgetting anything? Uh, all the living weapons. Right, and all the side quests. And all the side quests. Yeah. Uh, and every pickup except for one instance, but when I get to that, I'll explain it. Um, it's a necessary evil. Um, the same way with, um, I'm not going to deal with the stupid mechanic of the makeup uh, in the dress-up scene, which, uh, again, I'll uh, explain yeah. when I get to. Um, so, here we go. Um, the iconic start. Now, I am playing this. Uh, I am playing the 2012 uh, PC remake. Uh, it's on sale currently for five dollars, which when I post this, I don't know if it'll still be on sale, but it's uh, definitely worth it. I like it. Um, you do have to use a controller and then like joy to key um, because the joy pads don't pick up properly. I don't know. It's stupid, but anyway, it works like a charm. So it took two seconds to set up and it's done. So as you can tell, the I mean, it just looks so much better. They didn't change any of the backgrounds, but all the character models. They actually smoothed out a lot of the yeah. pixels. And they gave a ma mouse, even though everybody goes, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Except for Cloud and Barrett. Um, now, as far as names go, um, I don't change names. Okay, two potions here. Um, supposedly, it's one potion from each, but you can actually pick them up, both up from, from one. one. Yeah. There are achievements in this game. And uh, I already got a lot of them, so you're not gonna, you're probably not going to see any of them. I've already played through. I mean, look at that. It's just beautiful. It looks... Okay, so this is going really slow because I forgot to set my settings, so I'm about ready to do that. But if you want to have any insight on Final Fantasy, go ahead. Well, uh, like she said, uh, with us growing up, when this first came around, and PJs are... Would happen to come over to the house quite a bit with this game. I think we spent, uh, I think a good two, three months with the three of us locked up in a room. I didn't even play. I just watched. I wasn't allowed to play it. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she was the strategy guide holder, and uh, he would talk us through what we needed to do. Um, but for me personally, this has got to be one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, with the most nostalgia, because it was the most time I spent with with PJs or and, and she at the, at the same time, and everybody got along, which was rare back in those days. But mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I think the only game that has the most nostalgia besides Final Fantasy VII for me would be the original Resident Evil, but we won't go into that right now. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> no, no. I, th I think that was why I liked it the most was because you would actually watch as I played it and it was yeah. just a bonding time now I do keep all the original names um, I'm not speed running this at all as you can tell from 100% so it doesn't yeah. matter to me um, I do change a couple names I change Eris to Aerith just because uh, PJ Japanese. well PJs are shoved it down my throat about <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> about that being her name um not in a bad way just you know he uh he did a lot more he, i mean he had bootleg like trailers of the game and all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. um and i change uh red 13 to his uh, real name the naki the naki yeah mm -hmm. those are the only names i change so 
this is actually running a lot smoother and, and the visuals are ten times better on this PC version. I'm mm -hmm. impressed. It is recording at 30 frames per second, so if you see a little knock, that's why it's not running at the 60 frames that it plays. As you can tell, combat's going to go a little bit faster from here out. Um, for the most part, I never take it off active. Um, I will put it on weight on a couple key boss battles, but most of the time, because I'm grinding money and stuff like that, I'm usually over-leveled for most of the bosses anyway, so it's really not a big deal. The The main boss that I have to put on weight for is um, one that's optional, which is, um, uh, I think his name's Zolom, the uh, snake in the swamp. Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. even though I do know a good tactic for running across, and I am going to show that off, where you can just run straight across instead of getting a chocobo, um... Even though I, I know how to do that, I do fight him because I need the enemy skill beta. Yes. Which is crazy overpowered the entire first you, disc. You have to have that during the first disc. <laughs> it's awesome. Between that and mantra magic, it's insane. Uh, and I'll have to agree with Chi on this. They could have done a lot more with the uh, beginning uh, uh, I know. intro parts of this game. After seeing it so many times over... Oh, I have to years. point this out. Here's one of the first items. You can get it on the way back through, but every time I've tried that, I've forgotten it. So I just get it when I first come in. Well, that's on, on a time limit as well, so you just want to yeah. get it while you can. That's why I forget. You're usually rushing the clock <laughs> like, oh, I'm not going to make it. Continue with the first part. I just I, Every now and again, I have to interject the point stuff. Oh. Continue. No, this, this <laughs> Final Fantasy VII was a great game, but... It started off the uh, Square Enix abuse of the extremely long intro uh, tutorial type stages in the game. You mean disc one, colon, yeah. the tutorial? The tutorial, yeah. <laughs> Do you want... That always cracked me up with Barrett. Oh yeah, one of the first instances of cussing in a game that I saw. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. pretty landmark for me. Uh, I was... Uh, how old was I when this came out? 97, right? 97, yeah. Mm, shit, I was 13 when this yeah. came out. Yeah, actually, I think they said it was 97, but it was early 97 because I wasn't quite 17 yet. Right, and so. your birthday's in August. Yeah, so. Uh, see, even the enemy models they redid. Wow, it looks like you should, better. You should see uh, Guard Scorpion. He looks badass now. I'm actually impressed with the character, the the main character's designs right now. Mm -hmm. See the the avalanche tattoo on Barrett. Yeah, yeah. Barrett used to look like in. Oh, I had forgotten to put him in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. And she morphs through the door. I need to stop poking my screen. Nobody can see it. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Ah. <laughs> uh. Luckily, they do go easy on the tutorial. Like, they only tell you how to climb a ladder once. Um, there, I've played some modern games. Re I almost forgot that potion. I've played some modern games recently where you get, like, halfway in the game and they're still telling you how to crouch the stealth and stuff, yeah. and it just pisses me off. I know that most of the time you can turn it off, but it never fails that as soon as I turn off the tutorials, I'll get into an area with a very unique one-time use-only mechanic, and I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. Like now, these uh, little robot spy guys, uh, not these guys, um, but these little robot spy guys right here, they are actually super important for me to get in random encounters. The reason why is they drop ethers. Um, now, for the most part, I'm not going to sell any items, but to save on grinding for money, ethers uh, at the beginning of the game are 750 each selling, which yeah. is crazy. So I basically sell down the one every time I sell. Uh, which, because I have to keep one. Which is a great strategy, because uh, Ether. I mean, early on, it's not that crucial, to be honest, really. I've played through the game multiple times, and I've I've rarely used Ethers at all. I think the last time I ran through this game uh, was 2002, I believe. Yeah, you did the full... That's actually what inspired me. I remember the you first. talking about the full playthrough. And I was just thinking, when you explained a lot of that to me, I was like... Uh, not not a I can do better than you thing, but I was thinking there's got to be a way to, to lower down on the, that time range. Yes, because it, it took me three months for my 100% run, and 
that's a little too long for one game, especially <laughs> playing the old PlayStation 1 version, which I was doing at the time. Yeah. Yeah, and after this, I'm doing 8. I have it on PC, too. Wow. Now, that's that's a, an endeavor right there. I, I fucking love 8. Eight's, uh, eight's awesome. Eight. I mean, I like it once... Okay, let me explain it this way. Once you get used... Uh, and not it's not for everybody. I'm not pushing it on you, but uh, once you get used to the draw system, and not so much the draw system, but how the junctioning system works, yeah, it, it really adds that that level of depth that I was missing with this. For instance, the Matera, or however you pronounce, it, I don't give a fuck. That's how I pronounce it. <laughs> um, but it has a thing where when you equip and de and unequip it. Um, it affects your stats like minus luck, plus strength, blah, blah, blah. But I never have to pay attention to it. And I do fine. Yeah. I don't have to look at it at all. But the junctioning system, if you don't junction anything or if you junction incorrectly, that's your death sentence. Yeah, you're going to fail very quickly if you if you can't figure it out in Final yeah. Fantasy VIII. That, and I always like the idea that I could just like draw off of like a guy and have free spells, essentially. Well, you... I never liked MP. Well, your favorite mechanic throughout all the RPGs I've noticed is uh, the steel ability, and it's just like an eternal steel I actually ability. used that a whole bunch in, in this run. <laughs> but Final Fantasy VIII was like the thieves' wet dream, yeah. because it could just be, oh, I'm stealing abilities from these people all the time? Excellent. Well, I do have the greatest thief known to D&D, so... Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do play D&D &D as a family, so... All those people who say don't play D and D with your family, they're retarded. I have a blast with it. Uh, I am actually the DM, so most of the time I don't get to play my character. But check out Guard Scorpion. That looks amazing. Okay, now Guard Scorpion. A lot of people don't know Guard Guard Scorpion has a very specific pattern. Uh, they think it's random, but what it is is it's scope. Uh, usually weapon, weapon, then scope, then weapon, then tail. Then tail. Um, also, he's weak to lightning, but as you can see, I don't give a fuck. I'm just fighting him normal. He doesn't do it. He, he could never kill me in a thousand years. If I, I could hold a, a O, which on oh, my 360 controller is B. I could hold that and win this fight, even with Guard Scorpion kicking the shit out of me. Our, with our, the... our family does that. We, we like to do it hardcore <laughs> all the time. There's a uh, shortcut. We don't take shortcuts. <laughs> I do do... Um, better strategies later on uh for instance um against uh oh shit what's his name uh it's the sewer boss oh, oh what's that dude's name uh, time for us to do a google search uh no need i got my little notes here on the side here here buster <laughs> oh apps okay so apes, apps, whatever. It's a, it's a Tiamat theme thing. It's actually pretty funny how it ties into D and D. But uh, oh, I'm not seeing any strategy on here. Don't attack when it's the tail or when it's the tail. If you die against this boss, just quit and kill yourself. Um, <laughs> so apps, when you're fighting them, the best strategy in the world is to equip everybody with fire and just do fire over and over again because he does that tsunami. That kicks his own ass. So yeah, eh, super easy. Uh, what she was trying to mention earlier with the <laughs> the scorpion, uh, if his tail is pointing straight up and you attack him, he's going to attack you with the one turn kill uh, strike of that tail. So sorry, I've fought this boss like thirty thousand times in the last month. So I'm just for those of you that are potentially <laughs> new to this game, and I don't know why you would be new to this. Well, game, they, they could but... be the youngins who. Who didn't even grow up on PlayStation, you know what I mean? Oh, the, uh... We started with PlayStation 2. <laughs> Which you have no excuse for not playing this game if that's what you grew up on, because you can still play these games. Backwards compatible, yo-yo. Yeah. R-E-P-S-X-X... P-S-S-X-E... P-S-X-X-E... Yeah, or whatever. To emulate it, um... I, I do a lot of testing using the emulator, because it works perfectly fine, I mean... Yeah. You just got to set it up. Um, but I I own it on PS1. I own it yeah. on PS2. I own it on Virtual Console. And I own uh, both PC versions. So <laughs> I still have my greatest hits PlayStation Which, 1 copy. Right. 
Which a lot of people would say that I'm like in love with this game, but really no, because I own eight on all the same platforms and I own nine on all the same platforms except for PC because there's no port. This version here, I might actually have to purchase. Because Dude, it I would. Looks it's, it's fucking top notch. Mm -hmm. I always love these numbers. Like, I don't know why, but I always like the design of those numbers. It's the old PlayStation 1 format of, of graphic design. They actually put a lot of emphasis on such a small powered machine. Mm -hmm. uh, the early games, especially. Um, so. so, before we get away from this, I did want to mention that when I was a kid, the first time I played through by myself, not with you guys, mm -hmm. when that timer came up, I go, Holy shit, that's impossible. <laughs> How am I supposed to leave in 10 minutes? <laughs> 10 minutes? Oh no. <laughs> Well, I used to take my time. Like, I, I used weight and put the battle speed to slow. Because I, like, I played a lot of strategy games. I played a lot of, I mean, just strategy games and tactics games when I was a kid. And uh, I thought I had to plan everything out. Oh, a little tip again if you're new. Um, wow, I almost broke the mic there. Um, a little tip is that if you're facing the back and... Um, they're gonna back attack you. All you have to do is tap run, which is the shoulder buttons real quick, and you face forward so they can't back attack you. Yes, welcome back to 1997. It'll be your host. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Sorry about the uh, mic noise, everybody, but this is almost over anyway. My mic almost fell off because I have a ridiculously large keyboard. You can't not get excited while playing this game and or watching it again. Yeah. For those that need a history lesson in the early days of PlayStation 1 or <laughs> PS1, if you, if you will, uh, they would use a lot of movie-type uh, CGI animations, which hadn't really been seen at the time. And so mm. the older players, uh, anybody of the age of 25 and up, gets nostalgic and, and bright-eyed while seeing this because you won't see this type of graphics again for a game. No. I mean, the pre-rendered backgrounds were revolutionary and uh, now it's just fucking old school. Nobody yeah. does it. It's like a yeah. Scooby-Doo cartoon now. And, and it spread through not just this game but also, uh, like we mentioned earlier, the Resident Evil games. Oh, did you see the bug there? If you uh, get into a fight right before that ladder and you're holding the button when you end the fight, um, she glitches up the up the ladder. It's just a little thing. Since I got into a fight, I was like, I'll just show it off real quick. Believe it or not, these ladders were the, the biggest difficulty when first playing this game. Because <laughs> they seem well laid out at the time since somebody else is playing it, but when you first put the game in and you, you reach these ladders, you're going, oh. do I hit a button? Number two. I can't tell you how many times I slid to uh, Mako Reactor number two. Oh. How many times I slid down the slide and then went up the ladder. <laughs> I, I know actually, it sounds stupid, but... I actually, I think there was two times that I didn't make it through this first section here with the timer because I got stuck on, on nice. the ladders. Which, it's probably not a good thing to admit. Big shot YouTube looks pretty cool. Nah, it's, it's all good. Everybody had their things when they were kids. See, on the same note, I got confused with ladders on Final Fantasy VII, but I used to be, I used to beat Mega Man One and Two without getting hit. So you know, it's now I can't. I have trouble <laughs> with Mega Man, but that's beyond the point. Except for X, I'm badass at X. Mega Man X is fucking awesome. <laughs> Still one of my favorite games of all time. And you could quote that. <laughs> so here, I have I always had a tendency. Um, to go to Biggs first instead of Jesse. I actually did it right this time, which I was very surprised. <laughs> I would always go to Biggs, and he's like, dude, what are you doing? You I'm, know? Sure, I'm sure you, as you were playing this, you were thinking, I'm putting this on YouTube for the world to see. I'm going to Biggs first. <laughs> actually, this was my practice run. This was a test recording, but it went so smoothly. I was like, okay, part one, done, let's, in, let's in the do basket. It. Oh, so good. So the videos look nicer. They actually didn't change anything. What they did was they um, took the uncompressed raw video and they just put a better compression method on it because the PS1 compression rate was so screwed up. That's why they look better. They're still the same video. Oh. Yes, that, that scene of the reactor blowing up, that's the actual scene taken from PS1. I, I could vouch for this. Mm-hmm. 
This now, is the exact game. We, you can't hear it, but there's slight changes in the music. And a lot of people freak out about it, but I don't see that big of a deal. It's, it's, good, it's good music still, so yeah. I don't... It's not like they completely change it. They just, like... It's just a little different, so I don't know. This game today is still <clears throat> beautiful. I mean, you won't see a game like this. I'm, I'm sure there's games nowadays that the PS3, Xbox 360 love to just abuse this type of cinematic, but it's nostalgia. And it's... I, I do still have one problem with Final Fantasy VII, and I will never get over it unless they remake it and like re-CGI everything. Popeye arms. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate the Popeye arms. Okay, so uh, now's a good time to talk about the date mechanic. There's a date mechanic where the first time you go to the Golden Saucer, you date somebody, and everybody has an affection level, and whoever has the highest affection level, you bring on a date. Now, the reason why I said that really fast is right here, even though I picked the most convoluted choice possible, this first talking with um, Ares, whether you pick a flower or not pick a flower or anything like that, means nothing. It yeah. does not count towards the affection whatsoever. Um, I will be going for Yuffie. If I don't get it, I don't give a shit. I'm not going to start over because of that. Um, but I am going to go for Yuffie. Um, Yuffie, whatever people want to call her. Yuffie. Yuffie. Fuck I think everybody calls her Yuffie. <clears throat> so um, right there doesn't matter. But if you notice, every time I uh, bring up a choice, um, it looks like I'm like stupefied by it. But really what I'm doing is I'm reading the FAQ to see what I need to choose. I have I have notes, I have an FAQ, and I have other stuff up. I have like four windows up while I'm playing this to make sure I don't miss anything. So, Props for GameFAQ.com for all your yeah. needs. Matter of fact, I, I am going to go ahead and plug the main FAQ. I made some changes with it, but um, Absolute Steve's. Uh, run through is pretty damn good. I also use a, a um, enemy skill FAQ and affection FAQ for the date, and I use um, the wiki for shop prices because I have to plan out how much money I need before I go places. Game FAQ for those that don't know, uh, GameFAQ.com is probably one of the best sites to go to. Mm -hmm. It's all fan made uh, FAQs. Uh, it was wiki before wiki existed. Exactly. Okay, I do fight all these guys, and the reason I do that is just for a little bit more money and experience. There's really no reason to fight them. Uh, you'll see that a lot. I, I will never run from a fight unless I have to. Um, and, and you probably shouldn't in this game in the early rounds. If, if you can't figure out how to press the X button, the X or the O button in the early <laughs> rounds of this game, I don't know what to tell you at this point. This game is one of those games that it, people... People misthink strategy. Um, for the most part, you can equip the best armor, the best weapons, and hold circle through the game. Exactly. But I do things and fight things in certain <laughs> orders that require a little bit more strategy. But I do that because I don't want to get bored with it. So, you know, well, it's what it is. I think that's the mass appeal of this game still to this day was the simplicity. Even though it's, it's simplistic in the terms of the mechanics of the game, you get so involved in it. So little subtleties about the game. Since those people were on both sides, um, I had to uh, kill one of the sides before the other one so that I didn't get back attacked. Now, I was going to have to do that slowly, but since that back guy that was by himself attacked me right before my attack came up, I knew I could hold O to attack him because I would be facing him because he just hit me. So it's little things like that that really, you know, make the game. Your item drops in this early round of the game are really Pretty, good. That's why I kept it, man. <laughs> you even see at the end when I'm saving, like I hesitate. I was gonna like save it where I save my practice stuff and I was like, nope, new file, this is it. This is good. I got good drops. You're getting potion drops for every <laughs> other fight? I mean. Yeah. I, when I do my money grinding, I actually keep enough potions where I don't have to use any tents or anything. I can just keep potioning myself. It's That's nice. really good. Yeah. Look at Barrett. That. If you haven't seen the, the mouth, man, it means everything. If you haven't seen the old PlayStation One version of this game, Barrett looked like a blocky turd. <laughs> and this is just. I mean, he's still a blocky turd, but at the same time. It's a lot more smoothed out. Like Chi mentioned, the mouths of the people. 
Oh. And his alter, <laughs> and his alter dramatic way of pounding things to yeah. be emph- emphasize every little thing he's doing. Although his mouth is not. Well, big. he is just a big softy pretending to be pop. Yeah. Man, I think Unnecessary flip, I'd say. I think that's the appeal of this game, more than anything, is you could tell through the character designs, uh, the, uh, the way the characters interact with each other. They all have this very specific personality that you get involved with. Barrett's still my favorite because he's the, your stereotypical, I'm a tough guy, but a big softy deep now. See, I've, al- I've always been a Vincent fan. I always like the uh, anguish and revenge in his heart. Yeah. Yeah. And Sid was always a favorite of mine in Red 13 or Nanaki, whatever you, you want to call You it. always seem to gear towards the... Uh, <clears throat> The alternate type characters. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of games like Legend of the Dragoon where I don't use the main character like that at all. Yeah. It's and just habit. That's where me and my brother differ. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody likes their own. For instance, I like almost none of the girls except for Yuffie in this game. I always I always liked Tifa. I think Tifa was cool. She was. She was pretty good. You can't beat a female character that will actually box with the car- <laughs> with the enemies. You know, she doesn't need a weapon. She'll actually, box the them. reason why Zell's my favorite character in uh, eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I will tell you that the improved polygons, when when uh, you see them later in like dresses and stuff, reveal too much because they didn't compensate <laughs> for the new graphics. It's well, kind of funny. The new graphics seem to help. The gameplay, because uh, yeah. in the older versions, the screen was okay. much too dark. Sorry, I have I have to mention this. So I kept trying to go forward, and it wouldn't go forward. I was somehow stuck on that bum. Like, it wouldn't <laughs> let me... And right here, I'm trying to talk to Jesse. And freaking Wedge, with his fat, tubby belly, won't let me go by. This conversation means nothing. It doesn't affect the game whatsoever. Um, I was double-checking the FAQ right here. Because <laughs> I was like, I don't think I've ever gotten into this conversation. It's like, what should I tell him? I don't... There we go. I had to click back onto the window. You could be rude, you could be rude <laughs> to Wedge because, spoiler alert, he doesn't make it far. <laughs> well, they never do. I mean, Biggs and Wedge is in every game. Yeah, and they never make it. <laughs> they never make it. I think I will have to uh, try Final Fantasy VIII again. It's been... I, I think now that... I don't mean this in a bad way, but now that you're more of a mature gamer, I think you'll appreciate it a lot more, the little subtleties in it. Uh, not to mention, if you realize the trick to the game, which is the less you level, the easier it is, uh, because enemies level with you, uh, you'll find out real quickly that the game is actually pretty fun if you, because you don't have to grind at all. That, you just go through the game. That happened to me. My problem when the game first came out was I, oh I made it to disc three, and I was grinding so much before I hit disc three, it became old Final Fantasy. Impossible. Yeah, it's that's how you're used to playing Final Fantasy. It's, I know a boss is coming up. I got to grind for an hour. Yes, welcome to Final Fantasy. If you've never played it before, it's <laughs> grind sessions like crazy. Now there is tricks you can use to low level the shit out of all the Final Fantasy games, but if you're a casual player, that's not really realistic. No. In an era where you're used to just running through the entire game in two hours, a uh, game of this caliber, which uh, you could spend months on end playing it your first time through. But you know, it's a great game, so it's not that big of a deal to play two, three months worth of this game. Oh, and, and welcome to the era of no online multiplayer. <laughs> Actually, there was, but nobody used it because it was garbage. It, it was horrible. Actually, I think that was... I think PlayStation 2 implemented that with the Final Fantasy XI, wasn't it? No, um, it was actually Xbox and the Xbox, the Xbox. original Xbox with the modem. Yep. Uh, now, that's not to say that there hasn't been... Tons of that on PC for years, but I believe you were strictly speaking consoles. Consoles, yeah. yeah. If I know you, it okay. We just recently introduced Brian, or uh, who cares? My brother here, Brian. You Brian, Brian. yeah. <laughs> uh, we just kind of inter- reintroduced him to PC gaming, um, so he was mainly a console gamer for years and years and years. And he's starting to understand why PC gaming so appealing. 
and now I rarely own a console game. <laughs> I'm sorry. If Steam doesn't carry it, <laughs> plug out the Steam there. But uh, if they don't carry it, I'm probably not going to play it. No. That's fair. Okay, so here we're done with the train scene. Uh, there's going to be a lot of like retarded talking during most of this stuff during the commentary at first because there's a lot of uh, bullshit little scenes that are interesting when you play through, but not so much when you've played through a couple times. Um, so this opens up your first choice. Um, so you can go on with the mission, or you can do what I did and grind forever to get money so that you can buy three Iron Bangles. <laughs> and believe me, the Iron Bangles are the most helpful item this early in the game. They're the, uh, the best quote-unquote armor type yeah. item you can have. And I believe that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll uh, just kind of freeze on that last scene. Do you have any closing? Um, if you haven't played Final Fantasy VII, which I said earlier, if you haven't, I don't know why you haven't. Um, give it a shot. Uh, yeah, stop watching this. Don't don't ruin it for you. Just go play. Yeah, just go play it. If you like what you've seen and you, and you think, well, you know, that's that's a simple game. I could figure that out in no time. Please, by all means, give it a shot. It is. They wouldn't make it one of the greatest games of all time mm -hmm. and it's still talked about today for nothing and here's the real deal with it you can get it on virtual console for ps3 you can get it on um you can get the disc for ps1 or ps2 if you have that you can get it on your psp or psp vita you can get it on pc um playstation network pl yeah you can get it on well that's psn playstation yeah, yeah, network PSN, um you can get it on pc you can get the remake on pc which i highly recommend um, and you can even emulate it if you're really just that kind of person. There's no reason not to play this game if you have. And I will say that, um, unlike most people who put games on their channel that hate on them, and I watch those people not saying anything bad, me, myself, I put games that I want to play on. So if you see a game on here, I recommend it. Go play it. If you don't want to watch my stuff because you don't want to ruin it, if anybody understands you, it's me. I hate spoilers. And if I haven't seen a game, I don't watch it. So Because we love you. We love you here. <laughs> so what do you think of the run so far? Would you have changed anything? I don't think I'd change uh, anything at all. Actually, I'm very interested in purchasing this version myself mm. because I... Like I said, $5 right now. You can't not watch somebody play a walkthrough of this <laughs> game and go, well, I'm just going to go home and play like a shooter or something. You, you want to pick it up and play it again. And unfortunately, in this day and age, if you have the PS1 disc and no emulator, well, you got to buy it somewhere. So, um, All right. well, I think that closed it up for episode one. I think it went well. Uh, hopefully, you guys are interested and uh, stay tuned for um, you know future episodes. I will be doing the whole game. I know that the Sleeping Dogs uh, Let's Play has fallen to the side, but I'll tell you the truth on that. Um, I had to move, um, unfortunately. Um, to a smaller place and stuff and I lost my save file so oh. I'm going to have to kind of start over and get where I was and that's always kind of disheartening so that's why I haven't done it let's just go on to another project I mean that's what I would do yeah I mean I'll eventually go back to it but more than likely I'm just going to delete the old videos and start over if you're interested in hearing me come back uh, and helping my brother here with the commentary please leave a comment below say yes Bring back Brian and or Death Clutch if you can remember my gamer tag. Same thing if you hate them, let me know. I don't <laughs> I don't care personally, but uh, this is just a test run of me doing commentary. Yeah. Usually I'm a, a lot. By the time you guys see this video, um, whoever does see the video, more than likely he's, uh, he's already done a couple videos with me, so you're going to have to stick by. <laughs> But I think we'll end it there because we're we're running like five minutes past the video itself. So Yeah, time for us to go. Alright, we'll see you guys.